Yunlin is a large agricultural county that depends mainly on the primary sector. As the population and business developments increase, the demand for water and water quality requirements has been raised significantly, and slowly the supply of groundwater sources has become insufficient. Therefore, in order to improve water quality for the public, the Water Resources Agency of the Ministry of Economic Affairs has conducted a long-term investigation and evaluation of water resources developments in the Yunlin area. And after assessments and comparisons, Hushan Reservoir was established on the west side of the Dolio Hills. The preliminary investigations and arrangement for Hushan Reservoir Dam started in 1979, and it wasn't until 2002 that it was approved by the Executive Yuan and initiated the entire process. This project went through a very lengthy preparation, hoping that comprehensive and careful considerations are taken before development began. With the average quality of the public rising, environmental protection concepts also amplified, and how to achieve a balance between development and ecology are the primary concern of authorities responsible. A major public construction project needs the involvement of professionals from every field to be successful. An Ecology Conservation Measures Conference was held in Dolio, which invited environmental and ecological groups, scholars and experts, local resident representatives, elected representatives together to express their views on the conservation measures for Hushan Reservoir. The finalized opinions were included into the conservation measure strategies, so the communication between engineering division and private sectors could be implemented more explicitly. Moreover, the views and ideas of the community were also valued greatly by the developers. Thus, many community workshops and coordination meetings have been held since the project began to establish smooth communication channels and enhance local participation. To reduce the impacts on the environment during the construction and to achieve the objectives of ecological conservation and sustainable management of water resources, Central Region Water Resources Office, Water Resources Agency, Ministry of Economic Affairs, plan to design a Hushan Reservoir Ecology Conservation Measures. Hushan Reservoir Ecology Conservation Measures projects commissioned include 1. Environmental Protection 2. Setting up a Hushan Reservoir Ecology Conservation Measures Executive Committee 3. Project Research 4. Habitat Improvement and Conservation 5. Ecology Conservation Advocacy 1. Environmental Protection Include making the environmental protective measure and engaging someone to really perform. In addition, perform the environment monitoring during the construction period, including air quality, noise level, vibration, water quality, water yield, water biological and terrestrial animals and plants, etc. 2. Ecology Conservation Measures Executive Committee To ensure such conservation measures would be carried out, the Ministry of Economic Affairs has set up a Hushan Reservoir Ecology Conservation Measures Executive Committee that was composed of scholars, experts, community groups and agencies to review and instruct ecology conservation work from a detached and objective point of view. Three, research assistant. Survey research is divided into forest ecosystems, stream ecosystem, and human ecosystem, in which the Endemic Species Research Institute was mainly responsible for research on forest and river ecosystems. Yunlin and Nanto County governments handled the research on human ecosystems. Finally, the Central Region Water Resources Office would develop a feasible implementation plan based on research findings and recommendations and gradually execute it, making it the first in water resources constructions of Taiwan. The Hushan Reservoir was built on a low altitude range of hills and land that was used for agricultural purpose so a considerable amount of biological resources still remained. To master the local ecological environment and resources, the Endemic Species Research Institute of the Council of Agriculture 
was commissioned to conduct research that was used as the basis when implementing conservation measures locally during the construction period. Forest ecosystems and stream ecosystem research to conduct a comprehensive field research on all species of plants, birds, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, terrestrial insects, fish, aquatic insects in the conservation area as the basis for restoring local ecosystems. Concern for Endangered Species Pitta. A series of specific studies would be continued to investigate the habitat conditions of the Pitta in the environment around the Hushan Reservoir and discuss appropriate ways to enhance habitat quality through restoration. In the area of human ecosystem, Yunlin County and Nanto County governments were commissioned to conduct research within the boundaries of the construction project that include human ecology, history, industry surveys, and commissioned an ecological group to film a human ecosystem documentary in order to preserve precious images and records of the environment before the construction. Using such research information as the basis for the development of the reservoir to reduce the impacts on the ecological environment, and implement the results of research into the project parameters. In addition to the execution of implementing the conservation measures of the Hushan Reservoir project, more emphasis is put on construction to ensure quality, such as Hushan Reservoir project, construction of waterway, has won the eighth gold medal of public works, award for recognition of quality, and the Hushan Reservoir Project Phase 1 of Downstream River Remediation has also won the 10th Golden Award for Public Construction Finalist Award. Hushan Reservoir Project Dams Project won the honors of the 12th Public Works Gold Medal Award issued by the Public Construction Commission of the Executive Yuan in December 2012, which all demonstrated the results of the development unit's pursuit of quality and dedication. It also highlighted their efforts towards protecting the diverse biological environment of the Hushan area. Four, habitat improvement and conservation. In order to maintain local biological diversity and create a more suitable Pitta habitat, the Hushan Reservoir Project has set up a natural ecological reserve and conservation area. The core area was about 20 hectares and most of the land within that region has been artificially cultivated into a bamboo forest, fruit orchards, and betel nut plantation, leaving only a little bit of natural forest and secondary forest. Therefore, to be able to gradually restore it to its previous low-altitude natural forest environment, the Endemic Species Research Institute and us have carried out habitat restoration and improvement experiments in which we have chosen the betel nut plantations as experimental sites of ecological afforestation and transplanted native seedlings from the construction area. Based on the current results, seedlings with higher survival rates in the primary transplant period were those that reached about 1.2 meters and the Ficus maculus zone seedlings had the highest survival rate such as large-leaved nanmu, prickly bradelia, rough-leaved fig and seabold ardesia. The research results from this area could be applied to similar environments at Reservoir Protection Zone to achieve objectives such as low maintenance costs, appropriate tree species migration, and habitat improvement. Moreover, to compensate animals that were affected by the removal of surface land in the reservoir, artificial nest boxes and water storage boxes could be set up in proper locations within the conservation zone. These artificial nest boxes could provide cave animals such as the Formosan giant flying squirrel to use and the water storage boxes could allow tree frogs to use giving them an environment that they could rest and spawn in such as Moe's tree frog, white-throated tree frog and Meintine tree frogs for recording of spawning and tadpole numbers. In addition to habitat improvement and creation, conservation measures during the construction period is divided into plant conservation and animal conservation. Plant conservation includes 1. 
tree transplantation, two, ex situ breeding and field conservation of rare and endemic plants, areas surrounding the planting zones, schools, and parks for environment beautification. The plants conservation zone and nectar plant zone were both important locations at the Hushan Reservoir to be used as a lure for butterflies, birds, and has a compensation effect for plants like Clerdendrum paniculatum, Stachytarphida, Formosan beautyberry, and Howell fig tree. In addition, plants, ferns, and some native species of tree with aesthetic values, such as coral bishopwood or variegated coral neem, were used to create a green environment Rare endemic plant conservation is mainly focused on Bradia hirsute and Begonia ravenii and has respectively planned in situ conservations and ex situ breeding for non flooded areas and flood areas. For example, the exit of diversion tunnel of Hushan used in situ conservation. To keep in situ conservation for endemic plant, the project reduced the excavation area around the habitat, setting up fences and altering construction plans to change the method of building. For ex situ conservations, the plant habitat was originally in the flooded zone. It was needed to move the rare endemic plants to the greenhouse for reproduction and allowing it to grow strong so it can be transplanted outside the flooded zone during the appropriate season. The search and evaluation for similar location as the original habitat was done during reproduction period to find a suitable living environment and properly complete ex situ breeding. Animal conservation measures were proposed through animal resources and roadkill investigations to reduce biological impact based on construction progress particularly for slow-moving amphibians and reptiles. Animal conservation measures included 1. Temporary eco-fence Such measure would be set up at a temporary construction detour and the bioless environment. 2. Permanent ecological fence Such measure would be set up at a permanent road and the bio-rich environment. 3. Biological pathways Biological pathways for amphibians and reptiles that like to gather in aquatic environments and could utilize drainage pipes to form channels that will meet both biological movement and drainage needs. 4. Ex situ conservation of animals means to set up traps in areas before construction began and relocate them to appropriate areas for release. Five, biological crossing warning signs and vehicle speed signs would be set up in zones with relatively more road kills to remind drivers. Biological crossing warning signs have also been set up to coordinate with seasonal changes and appearances of different species. So it can be changed according to seasonal changes of biological and attract the attention of drivers with simple pictures and words. And six, animal escape measures that can offer trapped creatures in a drainage ditch a chance to escape. So many conservation measures were implemented to reduce the impact on animal survival during the construction period. Five, ecology conservation advocacy. Ecology conservation advocacy is one of the most important jobs of the Hushan Reservoir to host joint promotional conservation activities with local governments, local organizations, especially the Endemic Species Research Institute, that on the one hand allow people to learn about the process of constructing a reservoir, and on the other hand to promote the concept of environmental conservation. Such as organizing tree planting activities, so everyone could try with their own hands, plant a tree, and do their part for the environment. 
or to combine local celebration activities to promote conservation concept. To keep the memory of local residents about the flooded region, a Hushan photo contest was held so professional photographers could demonstrate hundreds of beautiful angles of Hushan within hundreds of submissions. No matter it is to show the local human spirit, industry culture, environment or habitat, we could see rich and diverse beauty of Hushan. Environmental and ecological education needs to lay down its roots and how to make children understand their communities and the environment is very important. The accumulation of knowledge depends on actual learning experiences and by combining with nearby elementary schools, outdoor painting field trips and visits to the reservoir area would allow children to learn from experience. Meanwhile, in order to improve the knowledge of the engineering staff and local residents on conservation awareness, information on the preparation of ecological conservation, production and propaganda are specially assembled and conservation education for engineering staff training will integrate conservation into the lives of the residents and the staff through a variety of conservation promotion approaches. To make sure that the results of Hushan ecology conservation measures could be understood by the society, a Hushan Reservoir website would have construction and conservation results and offer email and Q&A area so we can fully communicate with the public. The Hushan Reservoir construction is nearly finished and with construction it builds but also destructs. How to achieve a balance between ecological conservation and construction is the direction that the Hushan Reservoir has been considering and trying to achieve. To accumulate experiences through executing each conservation measure, to learn and improve, hoping that conservation work can be perfected and the pursuit of a better living environment in the future is something that you and I both need to care and work towards. In the future, the Central Region Water Resources Office will continue to uphold a humble and active learning attitude to continue to promote and execute to establish the goal of large domestic water resource construction that also covers environmental conservation. <laughs>